Quan Min, a retired special operations soldier, is picking up his daughter Fan from school. She is excited to pick out a dress for the upcoming prom, and hurries Quan to get to the store downtown. He drops her off and goes looking for parking and ends up hitting another car. Before both drivers can talk about it, a massive bomb goes off nearby, blowing up cars and shattering store windows. Quan gets up with glass stuck in his face, but his mind is on Fan as he rushes into the destroyed store. A reporter, Ian, gets the call from a group calling themselves the Authentic IRA who claim responsibility for the bombings, and giving their code word Phoenix. The caller threatens to target banks next, if the British government continues its illegal occupation of Ireland. Ian rushes to report the news to his boss, who is worried that the peace accords might be at risk and puts his entire office on tracking them down. Ian rushes over to the scene of the attack, now flooded with paramedics and injured or dead people. As he takes photos of the carnage he sees Quan holding Fan's body, broken and in tears. We then see the authentic IRA held up in a hotel room, when the bomber comes in wondering how many people he killed. They plan to stay put as the coppers are looking for any Irishman at this point. We then meet Deputy Minister of Northern Ireland, and ex-IRA leader Liam, in bed with his side piece, when he gets the notification about the bombing. He gets a call from his wife about the news. She also wants to know why he didn't come home but he tells her he had to put in some overtime. He gets to his office while on the phone with British Cabinet Minister Kate, who requests that he get to the bottom of this and find the culprits. He tells her that to appease any uprisings, he needs her to fully pardon 40 of his Irish men accused of crimes, including his cousin, and Kate tells him if he gets her names, then she will consider it. Quan is standing in Fan's room, just staring at all her stuff in silence, holding her teddy and just lost in his head. Two detectives from Scotland Yard turn up at his restaurant and are directed to his home upstairs. They ask Quan to identify a purse found near Fan's body, but Quan only wants to know who is responsible, and why his daughter. The detectives promise to catch the bombers and bring them to justice before leaving. Liam meets with his former IRA colleagues, demanding to know who this new IRA group is and how they knew the code word only meant for the top-ranking IRA officials, even suspecting a mole in the room. He demands that they go through their entire stockpile of inventory and to find any leaks and report them. At Scotland Yard, Commander Bromley is following up on leads on the bombing, when he gets a call that Quan has turned up to the station for the fifth time this week. He meets with Quan, trying to reassure the father that they will catch the men and get justice for his daughter. Quan tries to pay £20,000 for at least one name, but Bromley warns him that the men are very dangerous and he should stay away. Bromley asks him about his family and learns that with Fan's death, all three daughters have now passed, along with his wife, and Quan is now all alone. Bromley tells Quan that his visits are diverting resources away from the investigation and he should give them time to do their job. Three weeks later, the police have no leads, but Quan has not given up on trying to find something to help him. He sees Liam talking about the IRA on the television and stares at him intently. Liam gets back to his office and learns that he has a waiting call for 30 minutes from Quan. Liam takes the call and immediately Quan wants to know who killed his daughter. Liam denies knowing any info about the bombers and gives his condolences before hanging up. Quan then begins to burn all the pictures and news clippings, now consumed by anger and revenge. His business partner and friend Lam comes in telling him that he needs to stop. Quan says he has failed his family, before handing over the title of the restaurant to her. Lam refuses to leave him for the night and plans to sleep on the couch, but Quan disappears and drives away. He grabs some supplies before heading back and disguising his van as a cleaner's. Lam rushes out to try and stop him, but Quan pushes her away and leaves. He takes a ferry to Northern Ireland and gets himself a room. Quan then turns up at Liam's office holding a small bag, asking to speak with the minister. The assistant remembers him and the guards in the room try to throw him out, before Liam comes out and stop them. They talk in his office, where Liam explains that his involvement in the IRA was a thing in the past and he is now working towards peace. Quan reminds him of his own wife and child and demands his help but Liam again denies any knowledge. Quan tells him he will change his mind soon, before excusing himself from the office. Quan heads to the bathroom where he takes out the simple items he has bought, but begins to create a very intricate timed explosive before leaving. A few seconds later, a massive explosion rocks the building. An inspector comes by to ask who did this but Liam denies knowing any culprits. Quan then calls the office and Liam is angry, threatening retaliation. Quan demands the names of the bombers, but when Liam rambles on he hangs up. Liam then orders his men to search the town for Quan. Quan gets to his room with more supplies and begins to recall everything he learnt in chemistry class. Liam's drivers are getting in his car, when one sees a wire hanging from the gas tank. He carefully checks it out, but it's just a note with the word names. Liam is at his office when he gets a call from his man who has traced Quan's location, and Liam gives the order to grab him and discourage him from returning. The men rush the building, 
racing up to his room but Quan blocks the door. Before the men can come in, Quan climbs up to the attic but men corner him there. He fights off the men while escaping to the roof and almost gets knocked off but slides to the ground. He rushes back inside, and is forced to battle the multiple men, but with quick moves he knocks them down. The men grab him, but Quan fights them off and dives through a window before disappearing. The head bodyguard Jim, returns to Liam who cannot believe that an old man managed to beat them. Liam's nephew Sean turns up at the house, and he wants Sean to go to London to discreetly talk with Bromley, to get his help in finding the London bombers. Quan returns to the address and knocks out the guard posted there before taking his van. He trails Liam and see him head into a restaurant where he is meeting with his side piece. Liam gets a message and checks his phone, only to see a picture of them kissing and a message demanding the names. Sean meets with Bromley privately, reassuring him that they have nothing to do with the attack. They plan to give different code words to each ranking member and when the bombers attack again, Bromley is to give them the code word and let them deal with it internally. Bromley agrees under the condition that they, Scotland Yard, take down the bombers and not them. Liam gets to an off-grid location he calls the farm, where Jim reports that they searched Quan's room and found traces of nitroglycerin, and he tries to reassure Liam that he is safe but Liam doubts it. Quan changes his vans and drives into the woods, where he covers the van in bushes then covers the tracks. He makes his way through the woods until he gets to Liam's safe house. He silently breaks into a shed and begins to plant bombs when a guard sees the open shed and raises an alarm. He comes checking but Quan knocks him out. Another guard also gets his ass kicked and he is knocked out. Quan ties them up and leaves and in a few minutes, the bombs explode, causing the men to come rushing out. Seeing this, Liam orders them to bring in more men, as he has underestimated Quan. He heads up to his wife and tries to tell her he has it under control, but she plans to leave his ass there, as Quan is only after him. Meanwhile, the authentic IRA are preparing another bomb when they get the notification that the codeword has changed. Back at the farm, Liam is preparing for his wife to leave when there is an explosion outside. They rush out to see a car overturned and realize that a bomb was planted in the driveway and set off remotely. A few men set off towards the woods nearby to try and capture Quan and begin sweeping the woods with their weapons. One guard trips over a wire and Quan swallows him up under his camo. Quan gets shot in the shoulder by Jim, but he escapes and manages to hide before Jim finds him. Liam is now furious, so Jim advises him to bring in Sean noting his experience as a former Royal Irish Regiment soldier. At a hotel in London, Mary is alone in her room when Sean comes by and we see why she wanted to leave Liam there. Turns out the two are having an affair and begin to make out, before Sean gets the call from Liam, asking him to come and give them a hand in tracking Quan down. Mary then tries turning Sean against Liam, telling Sean that maybe he should be in charge. Turns out, Mary is mad because her brother was killed by a hit squad and she wanted Liam to murder the culprits but he refused. Jesus Christ women, Quan is alone in the woods in the rain, he cauterizes his wound, and passes out from the pain. He remembers the night he and his family tried to flee from China and he was forced to fight for their lives but lost his family, saving only Yan. Liam is at home when he gets a top secret file on Quan, noting him as a deadly individual. Hugh McGrath, one of Liam's old IRA commanders during the Troubles, arrives and asks Liam why his weapon dumps are being searched. Liam tells McGrath that the Semtex used in the bombing came from one of his dumps. McGrath denies knowing anything and claims that everything was in order. McGrath then tells Liam that he believes the attacks should continue and tries to persuade Liam to think the same. Liam reveals that he secretly ordered the bombings, but ordered that only financial institutions should be targeted and that civilians should be spared. Angry, McGrath accuses Liam of caring more about his position within the British government than the IRA's cause. McGrath then leaves but not before Liam threatens him saying if the bombers are not caught, he will go after McGrath next. Liam heads downstairs and calls for his dog, but the dog is out cold. He checks but his gun is also gone. Quan then appears holding him at gunpoint, revealing that he is wearing a bomb and demanding to know who the bombers are. Liam swears he does not know who the culprits are but reveals the plan to catch them using the code word. Quan then gives him 24 hours before leaving. Bromley is going over footage of the bomber and sees a burn mark on the man's hand and plans to find him. Downtown London, Liam's side piece hurries to a biker waiting nearby before a bomb explodes on a passing bus filled with people. Sean gets to the farm, prepared to hunt down Quan by himself. Liam then gets a call from Bromley, who reveals that the bombers did not give a code word and thinks Liam is playing him. He gets a call from Kate right after, telling him he will only get the pardons if he finds and gives up the bombers. He cannot catch a break as one of his men who was keeping an eye on Mary, reveals that Sean has been smashing Mary, then he saw her make a call to McGrath after. The authentic IRA are planning another bombing, this time planning it inside a computer. 
Meanwhile, Bromley and his team have identified the bomber and even have video of him meeting with McGrath. Bromley calls Liam to tell him about McGrath and he lies saying he does not know. But Bromley is watching his property from a drone and sees McGrath coming up the driveway. Bromley reveals that a team will arrive at the farm and pick up McGrath, which will in turn damage Liam's career, or, he could question McGrath in his own way, and provide all names and locations. To save his own hide, Liam storms into the office and holds McGrath at gunpoint, angry that McGrath killed innocent people. He demands the names of the men and shoots McGrath in the leg when he refuses. McGrath cries telling Liam that he used him, then hands over the names, where Liam is shocked to see his side chick's name and shoots McGrath once more. Liam is worried about giving up the names, as his side piece could lead right back to him, he finally learns that Mary worked against him too, then he kills McGrath. He then reveals the names to Bromley. The reporter is at his home with Liam's side piece and when he goes to use the bathroom, she replaces his laptop battery with the bomb before he comes back out. Sean is tracking Quan through the woods, when he comes upon a hut and goes to check, but Quan ambushes him and attacks. The two pull their knives and begin to slash at each other, until Quan puts him down with a powerful kick. Sean attacks him and almost falls on a spike but Quan saves him. Later, Quan ties up Sean who reveals the names and location of the bombers, and the one with the mark on his hand who killed his daughter. Quan asks about his family before cutting him free. Sean returns to the farm where he sees McGrath dead. He takes a seat beside Liam who reveals that the bombers did not give a code word but Sean denies everything, until Liam tells him that he knows about he and Mary. He puts that aside and tells Sean that Mary used him, as she passed on all their pillow talk to McGrath. He gives Sean one final mission and warns him to return to the USA after. Bromley and his men have surrounded the room where the bombers are located with snipers trained on them. Quan then slips past and heads inside the building. The officers plan to rush the room when Quan turns up at the door with the manager, under the guise of checking a gas leak. They let Quan into the room and he observes them all before spotting the man with a mark on his hand. They attempt to search through his things and when they spot a gun, Quan jumps into action before a shootout breaks out in the room. Quan gets two of the bombers and loses his gun so he beats down another, smashing his head with a TV before facing another with a knife. Quan grabs a towel and throws the man down before strangling him to death. Soon after, Cops raid the room, but Quan slips away before they can find him. They begin to beat the shit out of the side piece to get the location of the next target, but she refuses, until they convince her with electricity. They get the information and rush to the airport, and find the man in time. They grab his laptop and race through the crowd of people before throwing the laptop into an empty boarding tunnel and it explodes. Bromley gets the report of the China man that entered the room and attacked and once they get all they need from the girl, they shoot her dead. Bromley then puts out an APB for Quan who is on a bus. Liam gets a call from Kate, who reveals that she knows about his side piece who she had killed. They know of his involvement in the bombing, but decide to hold the information, using it as leverage to keep Liam under her control. Mary is at home when she hears the bell ring, and Sean puts a bullet in her head. Liam returns home, where Quan is there waiting for him. Quan reveals that he knows about this side piece and tells Liam he knows he set up the bombing. He forces Liam to send off the picture of him and his mistress, telling him now the world will know he is a terrorist before leaving. Lam is at the restaurant when she sees Quan working like nothing happened. Bromley gets the report that he has returned, but refuses to send in a team, saying they owe him. Yam rushes to Quan and kisses him happily and hugs him, and Quan breaks down in tears. Remember to turn on notifications, so you can watch more movie recaps like this. Thanks for watching.